Welcome to the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of the women's volleyball team. And Coach, you round out the regular season last week. Uh, a defeat over Alvernia gives you 40 uh, matches, straight wins over uh, MAC Commonwealth opponents. And then you turn around and beat a really quality team in Johns Hopkins on Thursday last week. Well, Joe, that Alvernia game was uh, that was something. I mean, every time you go on the road, you never know. And you know the the um, Alvernia played really well. Um, and it's always I say it's a bad omen if you really go out and play well in that first set and just absolutely demolish the other team, mm -hmm. which we did. It was like 25-13 because I think psychologically we let down a little bit unconsciously. We don't do it on purpose. Mm -hmm. And the other teams are like. They're not nervous anymore. Well, they just killed us. What do we have to lose right. kind of attitude? And they come back, and to tell you the truth, we were lucky to win the second set. Lauren Weaver got a solo block, um, and we won 26-24. And we're going, okay, then, you know, we'll finish this in three, and Alvernia plays out of their minds. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just play tremendous defense. They're, they're, they were broadcast, They were streaming the game live, and they had uh, some of their, their men's volleyball team broadcasting it. Oh, really? And they were going crazy, according to – people that heard it you can i've never seen alvernia play like this this is the best i've ever played oh. i've never seen him do this and you know we just basically kept hitting kids you know they oh, yeah. were, and right. they played just tremendous defense and uh they beat us mm -hmm. and they carried that right over in the four set and we're losing seven one look at ourselves at a timeout going oh my gosh mm -hmm. uh thankfully uh we called him at about 16 and then jang uh christensen served eight straight you know, she got him a little bit out of system. I think about four or five of those points were blocks, mm -hmm. and uh, we finished him up. It didn't look like it was a very close game at 25-17, but it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it was, and we came out of there with a 3-1 win. And the momentum that you got out of that game goes right into the Hopkins game, and you guys are able to get another solid victory to finish the regular season. Well, it's nice to beat the Hunter instead of the hunted mm -hmm. you know we've been coming into a lot of games and we're favored we're supposed to win in the and uh copkins came in number six in our region we were number nine mm -hmm. um we're on their court uh we saw what they've done against the number four team in the country you know how well they've competed with eastern and other schools and we're going this is going to be a great game great tune-up mm -hmm. we have both won our conference championships already we're both mm -hmm. going to uh you know if we win in the semifinals we're both going to host the championship so um tim cole the hopkins coach we thought this is a great tune-up for ncaa and you know mm -hmm. and conference tournament time and it really was uh, they are very, very aggressive uh, with their serve, and they run the quickest offense we've ever played against, to tell you the truth. But um, a couple of the things that we worked on, the new thing, things that they were going to do, we were able to get some key blocks, and I think we played probably one of our best matches of the year. And you talk about the games being a tune-up, but there, it was a great opportunity to you know, face some adversity in the Alvernia game and then face a really good opponent in the Hopkins game, preparing you for this week ahead and hopefully – another week ahead as well well um we faced tremendous adversity in Le lebanon valley the week mm -hmm. before and then here we are against alvernia again mm -hmm. uh hopkins uh we we just really played well i felt like we play, we served very well uh we passed well our offense ran you know ran pretty smoothly um so that was a good game to end on but it just says to our players any Thing can happen. Mm -hmm. You have to be fired up, and then we play the winner of Lycoming and Widener, who play tonight. And whoever comes into our gym, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. um, so we, it's nice to learn lessons and win at the same time, yep. yeah. <laughs> and not have to take that L. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, so we have to be ready to not only match but exceed the intensity of the other team. And let's talk a little bit about this streak, too, because, uh, you know, a numbers guy I am. Mm -hmm. uh, 40 straight wins, or 41, they're calling it, mm -hmm. straight wins in the MAC Commonwealth regular season. Uh -huh. Going for the fifth straight uh, conference championship. Um, hosted them all, too. Mm -hmm. um, what is it that you're looking for in these games uh, as far as momentum, bringing in a big crowd and getting things rolling right off the bat? Well, what I told our players, you know, was – this was an incredible achievement to mm -hmm. do this for five years first mm -hmm. off to win the regular season none of them they were all seniors in high school our seniors were seniors in high school mm -hmm. uh, so we have a completely different group of kids all the other teams have a completely different group of kids and as you can see anything can happen on any given night yep. and to do that over five years is an incredible achievement uh, that being said then moving into uh, I, I don't know so much that there's really the momentum 
mm -hmm. uh, going in because say for instance that we were able to win on Wednesday then we'll have to wait all the way to Saturday play five o'clock we'll wait until after the football game ends so mm -hmm. we can hopefully get a huge crowd because I know uh, whoever our opponent is um, like last year it was Messiah they they really travel well and they brought a huge crowd mm -hmm. it was close to a thousand people there so it was a great environment for a championship match um, I'm not so sure the momentum carries over um, mm -hmm. I know that uh, the confidence part carries over but I mean you can get yourself all fired up and doggone if you know, if you miss your first two serves right you know and then all of a sudden all that air comes out of the balloon yeah so um, I think the confidence and being there before mm -hmm. has a lot to do with how well you play and knowing how well you have to play to win the uh, a lot of the girls watched or um, heard you know how well Messiah did over the weekend beating Christopher Newport mm -hmm. Um, and then turned around and lost to Marymount. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know, we, we were, there's a lot of really good teams out there, and anything can happen. Well, Coach, we hope the positive thing happens for us next week. Yes, or we do. This week, Wednesday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. And uh, good luck with the keeping focused and, you know, resetting those batteries and getting ready for Wednesday. Well, they'll be ready. They will be ready. He's Dave Trombo. I'm Joe Wom, and this has been the Coach's Corner. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. So, well, I, I end up having a, a regional.